again, the rank of a matrix is a, an essential property of a matrix. And being able to calculate the rank of a matrix has very broad uh, importance in many applications. In, in this case, we, I'd like to present the application to stoichiometry. Uh, the stoichiometry, stoichiometry is the relationship between reactants and products of a chemo, chemical reaction. So Greenberg discusses a situation in which one wants to model the combustion of gasoline in an automobile engine, for example. And if you wanted to do that, you would, you would be able to write down a list of well over a hundred uh, simulations of chemical reactions. There could be over a hundred chemical reactions taking place involving various hydrocarbons, oxygen, nitrogen, and so on. And in turn, each of these reactions can be modeled by uh, a system of ordinary differential equations uh, governing the amount that each chemical species uh, changes as a function of time. And uh, th the resulting system of ODEs would be very large. So it would be to your advantage to know what are the fundamental or independent chemical reactions uh, that are involved with that system so that you can reduce the number of um, ODEs or equations that you need to solve. So let's, we're not going to consider an example of a hundred possible react, reactions. We're going to consider a much simpler uh, um, system. So let's consider the um, burning of a mixture of three reactants, CO, H2, and CH4. And they produce uh, three other compounds, CO, uh, CO2, and H2O. And so the, we can list all possible reactions and it turns out there are four. So CO can combine with uh, one half O2 to give CO2. H2 can combine with an oxygen atom and give H2O. CH4 can combine with one half O2 to get, oh, sorry, three halves O2. to give CO plus 2H2O. And the last reaction is CH4 plus 2O2 producing CO2 plus 2H2O. So the, the question that we want to address is how many independent reactions are possible? Or does this system involve? So we can rewrite these um, chemical, this description of these chemical reactions in equation form. So let's do that. So we're just going to change the arrow here to an equal sign. Or sorry, we're going to change. We're going to bring the product on the left-hand side of the equation, and the equations will each equal uh, zero. And I'm going to switch pages to give myself a bit more room here, and. Uh, Let's paste those same equations here. So we'll just keep those equations on the side here. And we can convert um, this system of four equations into uh, a matrix form, or at least the left-hand side of the equations 
can be described as a matrix A. And so the first column will be the coefficients on CO, the second being the coefficient on O2, and so forth. So we have six compounds involved in four reactions. And so in the first reaction, we have one CO, we have one half O2, and we have minus one CO2. In the second reaction, we have one H2, my, uh, one half O2, and a minus one H2O. In the third reaction, we have a CH4, so a minus CH, sorry, a positive CH4. We have a 3 halves O2. We have a minus CO and a minus H2O. So we have, sorry, two minus H2Os. And in the last reaction, we have a uh, CH4, we have two O2s, we have minus CO2, and we have minus two H2Os. So this matrix A is now describing the left-hand side of uh, this system of four equations. And we can reduce this matrix So we're going to indent successive rows to the right all the way down to the bottom. And the new system, the top row is not changed. So the new matrix becomes 1, 1 half, half minus 1, 0, 0, 0, uh, 0, 1, 0, 2 minus 2, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, minus 4, 2, and 1. And then finally, we'll be left with all zeros on the bottom. So again, remember, we Gaussian elimination involves a number of elementary operations on the rows of matrix A, and elementary operations don't change the rank of the resulting matrix. And so we can see that, um, we remember, we um, an, a simple way to determine the rank of a matrix is to reduce by Gaussian elimination and count the number of non-zero rows. So in this case, the rank is equal to is equal to three. So this tells us, right, again, the rank of A is equal to three. And this means there are only three, not four, independent reactions. There are one, two or more reactions in this four uh, reaction system that can describe, can combine to produce another reaction. So there are th only three independent reactions. And those three independent reactions are CO plus one half O2 minus a CO2 is equal to zero. Uh, we have a O2 uh, plus a 2H2 minus H2O is equal to zero. And then the last row here it represents um, H2O. Actually, we have two H2Os. 
minus a CO2 and minus 4H2s is equal to 0. Oh, I'm sorry, and plus we have a CH4. We have a CH4 plus 2H2Os minus CO2 minus 4H2. So this was a simple, relatively simple example of analyzing the basic or independent reactions uh, in stoichiometry uh, using uh, the properties of the rank of the matrix representing all possible reactions.